Hi everyone, my name is Paxley and we're back again with Crusader Kings 2 where we spread the Jewish faith in Italy. So right now only our province of Ancona is Jewish and in the last episode I ran into problems because myself, me myself, I became a Catholic by event. That's really stupid. But my firstborn and my second and thirdborn sons are still Jewish. So I didn't find out if there's a way to convert back to Judaism. The only thing I have going on is my court chaplain, Eliud Perp, is Jewish and he is proselytizing in the province. So I hope that this brings me back into the arms of the Jewish faith. Oh, and I think something I completely forgot. My firstborn son, Shlomo, he's age 7. Oh, okay, I didn't forget it. I'm already educating him. So I could change his faith to Catholic, but we don't want that. So I hope I can assure that he stays in the Jewish faith. So and let's see where we're going. So right now we need to save a lot of money. I have 23 gold or money or whatever you may call it. And I would need 146 or 147 because I want to build the castle town. I really need to raise my income. Oh, another son is born. Now that's nice. We call him Herschel. Or Shlomo, Leif, David, Ariel. So that would be Ariel the second. Or this one would be Herschel. Yes. And he's not sickly, so my second born isn't sickly again. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route with a foreign realm. This would of course require a sizable monetary investment, but the potential profits would also be great. Uh, let's do it. No risk, no fun. The time has come to outfit a ship for your trading expedition. The harbor master shows you a large ship with sizable cargo hold that will be perfect for this job. But it comes as quite a hefty price, 25 gold. Okay, let's do it. I'm broke! Just 3 gold left. The word has spread that you're planning a trading expedition and a group of priests has arrived at your court with a request. They are offering temple funds for the journey if you will allow them to come along with the journey. And it's a Jew, of course he can come with me. So I gain 8 gold, that's nice. Amram ben David. The time to sell out on trading expedition. I need profits. I need money! Give me the sweet money. Oh, another rebellion. We have 3 rebellions now in Italy. Oh, I get money. He collected the tithe. So we're back at 20, so that's good, that's really good. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of King Vyoslav. He's the king of... Serbia! Oh, that's not far away. Your steward asks you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship to King Vyoslav. A dozen strong horses, a chest with quality cloth from back home, a pouch of rare herbs. I go with a chest with quality cloth because I don't want to... I only have 22 golds and 30, yeah, that would leave me with a minus. At dinner you notice King Vojslav of Serbia's face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward shoveling his food in with his bare hands. This option is available due to your high learning skill and the option is Amram ben David is only paying respect to the Lord in accordance with his point point point. Oh boy, I hope this isn't a failure. You are walking idly around the court of King Vyoslav when you suddenly hear the discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner you are surprised to see one of the priests from your expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole venture. So I could become zealous or this must be stopped. We want to pay our honors to the king. Oh and his wife is missing an eye. Oh, this poor little girl. Let's have a look at her. Well, she looks nice, but she has a scar as well. So, the increasingly difficult negotiations between you and King Vyoslav of Serbia are suddenly interrupted when King Vyoslav of Serbia slams his fist off the table. No! 
It seems like he can no longer be your presence in the room and when you decide to leave, he shouts He's not a drunkard! No, because I'm a drunkard! So I gave out a lot of money, got nothing. It was a failure, but he didn't manage to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. But at least I get one learning. I'm an aspiring trader now. Oh, I got stewardship! That's nice, that will raise my income a little bit. 1.58, well, okay. So it was not a complete failure, at least. Oh boy. She's pregnant again! For God's sake, I'm making children like crazy! Yeah, that's nice. Levi shifted nobile obligation laws. Levi shifted nobile obligation laws. I have no idea. Oh, I have to give him more. A famous writer proposes to compose your family chronicles. Hmm. Humble would be very nice, but also proud would be very nice. But I lose gold! Okay, let's do it. I am pleased to hear that after a period of peace and shrewd management, the county of Ancona is doing very well. People are happy and the tax collectors are reporting record intakes! Yes! Well, okay. 0 0.11 more. <laughs> I think that's... This the new symbol here with the grains. Is there some info? Prospering! A prolonged period of peace and troop management has caused this county to prosper. Plus 10% tax modified. That's nice. Hilzi Perga Tachi Pertini has converted to the faith. That's my wife! She's became Jewish! Nice! Now I have to follow. <laughs> oh, please. Ho I hope these guys don't come to me. Oh, more money. That's nice. What's this reward doing anyway? No, he's moving in my direction. No, he's going to Urbino. A daughter was born. We name her. Firstborn was Sarah. Oh, God, I forgot to... To find out some Jewish names, give me a Jewish name. Uh, Golda! Golda Meyer, the famous Prime Minister of, of Israel. Oh boy. What do they want? Peace and revolt. Man, where's the Ital Italian army? I really don't want them to come into my province. Yeah, peasants attack you. I have enough pre prestige. So my daughter is six. Oh, I'm educating her as well. But I think I let her be educated by my wife. Because I have to focus on my sons first. And my wife is decent. She's not good, but who cares about the wives? <laughs> we need the boys to get strong. Where is the Italian army? So the king should have an army of at least 2000. But where are they? No! A court chaplain from another county! Fuck's sake. Galia might fancy me. She is not my type. I have already enough children.
I don't want... No! The rebellion is coming to me! For fuck's sake! If he will... If the rebellion imprisons me, I'm going crazy and I'm throwing my whole computer out of the window. Because that would really, really be very bad luck. First, losing my faith and then getting occupied. Where is the fucking Italian army? Of course, I'm speaking in tongues, screaming obscenities at random times. Most often when the priest, priest <laughs> preaches and sometimes lying on the ground. Oh my god, I'm possessed. That happens when you fall from the Jewish faith, you get obsessed. Fuck's sake. Oh, the Italian army! Now I'm stressed as well. But at least the Italian army fucked up. Oh, that's great. The Italian army fucked up the rebellion. Oh, it's, a, it's the Duke. It's my personal Duke. I think Duke of Al... Yeah, of Spoleto. That's nice. Meet the coins for glory. No, what happened? No, I should read the shit. Oh boy, I'm... No! <laughs> Corruption and criminals will come now. No! Oh boy, that's enough. That's really enough. So... I'm gonna stop it there. I'm stupid. I can't even read the events. Then I, my county gets nearly raided. Oh boy. So that's it for today. If you liked it, leave a like. <laughs> if you want to see what happens next time, be sure to subscribe and have a nice day. Bye bye.